Hi, my name is Erin Lang, and I was one of two York County 4-H National Congress delegates. I attended National Congress down in Atlanta, Georgia, alongside Jacob Warner. We flew down with approximately 12 other young men and women from the surrounding counties, and Pennsylvania had one of the biggest delegations uh, with approximately 40 young men and women representing Pennsylvania. 4-H National Congress is a conference where 4-H'ers from all around the country come together and they get to meet, we get to discuss different ideas, we get to see different keynote speakers. Um, there were people from Puerto Rico, Hawaii, all over down south and out west. Um, I was amazed at all of the different projects that they offered in uh, different states. Uh, there was some fishery ones, wildlife, just projects that I hadn't heard of that Pennsylvania had, so that was really cool to find out what they were doing in 4-H. Uh, it also was very cool to find out their application process and how they got there and what they did to get there. A lot of people have to put in a lot of work for this. Uh, Pennsylvania's lucky. It's not as much as some of these students did. Some of them put portfolios together from the beginning of 4-H uh, to their final year that they got to go to National Congress. Um, we got to hear from a lot of different keynote speakers. Uh, we heard from Miss America, we heard from a Holocaust survivor, and many other keynote speakers, but my favorite would have had to have been the Holocaust survivor. It was very humbling to hear all that he had been through and how he shared it with us and was able to share it with us. It was a very unique experience. I got to meet Miss America and take a picture with her. She was very nice. That was something I never thought I would be able to do. We also did some community service while we were down there. I was given the opportunity to go to Piedmont Park, which is one of the most beautiful parks I had ever seen. Um, it is ginormous. I can't even fathom how big it is. Uh, they had beautiful to topiary sculptures. Um, we cleaned up trash around there and got to meet like some of the local people that were there. It was very unique. It was a cool experience. Uh, we also had different workshops. I did some exercise style workshops, which were not my favorite, but they were neat to learn. Um, I had workshops on healthy living, but my favorite one would have had to been a workshop on zoonotic diseases. We had some uh, very well-known professors come in and they were talking to us about zoonotic diseases and they actually had us do some cases that they had worked on previously. and. Um, figure out like why that disease started, how they could fix it and make it better. But I would have to say that my favorite thing would be all of the friends that I got to meet while I was there. I still keep in contact with one of the girls every single day we talk. Uh, she is like one of my best friends. Uh, I have friends down in Hawaii. I have friends all over. Um, it was very, it was a great experience uh, being able to come together with people that shared the same passion as I do and really loved 4-H and really took it seriously and were happy that they were there. And I would recommend to anybody that's looking into it to definitely do it. I'm so thankful that York County helped me out so much. All of my clubs donated to me. That was very kind of them. Uh, it was an inexpensive trip to Atlanta, Georgia, and I never would have been able to do something like that without York County 4-H. So I'm really thankful for the opportunity, and please look into it. It was a great experience. It was an experience of a lifetime, and there were so many things there that I can't even begin to describe to you. I would just really recommend looking into it and going to 4-H National Congress. It was my favorite experience thus far in my 4-H career. Thank you.